I want to set some of y'all free today. Hello, beloved. It's me, Christina. As you can tell, we have a different backdrop situation going on today. I am in the playroom, which is actually my dining room, but it serves as a playroom because kids. But it works for us and we love it. But I'm here because I really just want to kind of have an unscripted conversation with the mamas out there today because not once but twice within the past week two women asked me about my devotional time with God and how I spend time with God as a busy mom and things like that and the heart kind of behind what they were asking me was just like I just don't feel like I'm doing enough I don't feel like I have enough to give and I'm not just kind of like a lot of guilt and condemnation around if I'm spending enough time with God. So I kind of want to speak into that area today because I think that there are probably a lot of moms out there that struggle with that, knowing that I need to have this quality time with God, but I'm kind of not really seeing it in my schedule. It's not happening. I have a heart to do it, but it's just not happening because kids get sick. Husbands work nights. Deadlines are due. Bills need to be paid. People need to be fed. All kinds of stuff that we have to do that dictates our schedule. So today I just want to give you three quick reminders for the busy mom that is feeling guilty about if she's spending enough time with God. Number one, I want you to know God understands your situation. Okay, I want to set some of y'all free today. You know, I, I think a lot of people ask me about my time with God and how I study the Bible. And that's probably one of the most popular questions I get is because I do do that for my ministry, beloved women. Like we do a lot of Bible studies and I do have to be in my word a lot. But when it comes to my personal time with the Lord, I really honestly, in this season that I'm in right now, do not have any kind of like structure at all like I get it in where I can fit it in it's not like I get up at like every morning at 4 30 a.m and on my knees and praying and calling out to the Lord and everything and maybe one day I'll be at that point but not today and guess what God understands that and he is not mad about that and he understands there are there are weeks like this week I know I had a few days that went by where I just didn't do any kind of devotion because both the kids got sick this week I got a little bit sick this week it was crazy I had a lot of deadlines due and it was just one of those weeks and God was with me and he empowered me to do it and he understands. We can't compartmentalize our relationship with God and feel like the only time that God is pleased with me is when I'm reading my Bible or when I'm at church. God is pleased with when you're doing what he called you to do and sometimes that looks like changing diapers and cleaning up throw up and going to get the car serviced and the oil changed and listening to your husband vent about you know the issues that he had on, at his job or calling a friend and checking up on her like it doesn't always look like I'm in my Bible for three hours every morning. When it comes to my relationship with God and my devotional time with him it it has changed over the years. When I was in college, I was a, I did have a structure. I did have a schedule and I was pretty good at keeping up with it, but that's only because I didn't have classes until lunchtime. You know what I mean? So it really depends on what your schedule is like. And if you are a mom like me and you're working and you're married and, or whatever else obligations that you have, you're serving in your church and everything else that you're doing, girl, God understands it's gonna be okay. The second tip that I wanna give you is to figure out what your devotional time with God is going to look like. You know, it's not necessarily always going to be a whole hour long prayer every morning. Maybe it's listening to some worship music. Maybe it's journaling. Maybe it's reading a scripture and writing your thoughts about it. like it. There's so many ways that you can connect with God and hear from him. So I don't want you to kind of feel like you have to be pigeonholed into just one particular way that you do it. Right now, I just do a little bit of everything. Honestly, I just know that I'm gonna take this amount of time and spend with the Lord and I just do whatever the Holy Spirit leads me to do. So that can look like a lot of different things and whatever my heart needs at that time. If I'm really, really super exhausted and I can't even like read the Bible right now and try to get something from it and just think and process all that, like I'll listen to a podcast and I'll let somebody do the thinking for me and the ministering for me. And guess what? That's okay. Because God still uses those times to speak to me personally. Sometimes I do, I'll get the Bible and I'll I'll let the Holy Spirit lead me to what he wants me to study and God will speak to me that way too. Sometimes I'll just put a worship song on and I'll just pray and I'll praise and the Lord will speak to me that way. So just be sure that you're open to being led by the Holy Spirit to whatever way that God wants to speak to you. I mean, the Lord has spoken to me while I was washing dishes. And I think that we have to realize we can open our lives up so that God can enter every single area of our life and speak to us wherever we are. Even if we are in the playroom, God is here to meet you where
where you are at. That's what I love about Jesus is that he came to us. It's not about us trying to work and strive up to meeting God's standard. Like he already came to us. Jesus met the standard for us and we don't have to worry about if we're enough for God. He already decided that you are worthy and that he loves you and that you are his daughter. So please do not feel guilty. He does not want you going around feeling guilty and condemned. Now, the last thing that I do want to say is this. We don't have to feel, you know, guilty about, okay, I got to be on this strict schedule. Okay. We don't have to feel guilty about, okay, my devotion time has to look like this or has to look like Christina's or whoever else's. But I do want to encourage you to make some time for God. Whatever that looks like to you, however that fits in your schedule, girl, you do need the time. I'll say that. And I hope that at this point you feel free enough to do that. And what I mean is not looking at your devotional time with God, the time that you spend with God to hear from Him and to talk to Him and just to be with Him. Not to look at it as an obligation, like, oh, I have to do this because if I don't, God's not going to love me. You don't have to do devotions. You don't have to spend time with God and He's still going to love you, okay? Because even when we're faithless, the Bible tells us that God's still going to be faithful. He's still going to faithfully love, love you. He's going to take care of you. He's going to fulfill His promise to you regardless if you do your devotions or not. But you want to do your devotions because they are for you. It's not for God. God is not going to be less powerful if we don't spend time praying to Him today. We will be less powerful if we do not spend time praying to Him today. And so sometimes it means, okay, I just have kids to bed. I really would rather watch Netflix, but let me just take 15 minutes and just pray and just really hear from the Lord because I need that. Because as women, as moms, we are spending our lives pouring out to everybody else that is around us. And we need to make sure that we make time for God to pour back into us so we can wake up the next day and do it all over again. And you know, it's good to rest and be with your girlfriends and do the stuff that you wanna do, but there is nothing going to fill you up like God can. So I want us to look at our devotion time with God, look at our time that we spend with God as completely, utterly valuable, as a necessity. If I spend time with God or not, is the difference between am I gonna be angry mama all day today or if I'm gonna be peaceful, calm mommy today. So my family needs me to spend time with God, my husband needs me to spend time with God, I need to spend time with God, it is going to add value to your life. So I want you to be free, and know that we don't have to feel condemned and guilty in this area, but spending time with God is a gift to us, y'all. It is a precious gift. And I hope that that encourages all my mamas out there today. Now I want to hear from you mamas. Please comment and let us, all of us know you know, what is one of the ways that you like to spend with God in this particular season in your life? Hopefully it'll encourage someone else that might be struggling in this area. I can't wait to chat with you in the comments. Be sure to subscribe. If you have not already, I have new videos coming out every week. The only reason I actually have on makeup today is because I just shot Monday's video. So subscribe so that you don't miss that because it's going to be really good. We're doing a study through the book of Galatians. And I want to invite you to visit belovedwomen.org and sign up to have my weekly devotion, Hello Beloved, delivered directly to your inbox. As always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, be beautiful, be blessed, and be loved.